So we are here in the sort of filling area, which also doubles up as our as our bombing hall. So through the other side of this pillar, we have our that thing our bottling area. So we go out. We go out. So this is where this is where we um, we do all of our, our batting and, and eventually bobbing. Um, here with Mikal, Mikal takes care of all of that side of of the um, of the distillery, the most important part yeah. when it comes to many of these people uh, watching the video. So why don't you? It's a bit it's a bit tight here, so I'm going to give you this, and then maybe you can head down and show the guys the batting tanks and then maybe get to bottling as well. Uh, okay. okay, we've got two batting tanks. Uh, so this is where the magic starts. Robin, uh, Robin's team, production team, will, uh, will become barrels into those tanks and then if they will need to be, they will be reduced uh, to the desired step. Uh, and then when Anthony in case that's green light, we can start uh, the camp and then into IBCs and then we can start bonding after that. So, yeah. okay. so let's go to the bonding hall. So here you can see an example of an IBC. We've got Marky Blake connected to the line at the moment. Uh, there's a pipe coming down to the filling machine and this is the last stage of, of the filtering as well. Uh, whiskey is just being filtered just before it goes into the bottle, just to make sure it's nice and, and clean. Yeah. And is that, that's just, the filtering is just a... No, it's just a simple cartridge filter, it's nothing... Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's just taking out... Charcoal, basically, yeah. and any, any other particles. And do you find that um, some whiskies are are harder to, to filter than others? You know, so, yeah, sometimes we are getting a wee bit of, of, of haze, of cloudiness in the bottles. And this is where we need to use a more fine filter yeah. To, to, yeah, to get the right. So is it, um, I know some of the, like Ambura, which is launched today, um, I've been on the bottling line because, <laughs> um, because obviously we're, we've got a much reduced team. Um, and we're having to change them a lot. That's just because of, of the cask, the, particularly yeah. the wine yeah. casks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, wine casks and sherry casks. They are they, they need more uh, finer filters. Yeah, but still, it's it's only just taking out the lumps. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, yeah, yeah. And the haze the haze is just uh, uh, how do you call them? I mean, uh, it's sort of they are uh, is it fat esters? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And they are absolutely safe for us. But it, they just don't look very nice. If they do, so yeah. That's why we are for them. Okay. You want to share us yeah. how the equipment will work? Yeah, right. So we will start with the uh, filling machine. As you can see, we can fill uh, four bottles at a time. And this is a semi-automatic machine because the operator needs to lift the bottles, put them into the slots, and press the button to, to fill them. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Four bottles at a time. This is actually the same piece of equipment that we've had for how long now, Mika? I don't know. When I started almost six years ago, we had the same machine here in the place. So that's probably 10, ten years now, yeah. more, more than that. I know you're uh, you're asking my dad for a, a new bottle, well, new bottling filling machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would help us all. And yeah. you have to keep on asking for a while. Yeah. Right. So the next stage is uh, is corks. We need to seal seal the bottle somehow, so we need to apply a cork. So this is a fully automatic machine, and it can it can do probably about 2,000 balls an hour, but we will probably never get there in the near future, because we are filling roughly 2,000, maybe 2,500 bottles a day. Okay. You never know, Mika. 
Yeah, another six years. It's up to you, James. <laughs> Coins are still being applied by hand, <laughs> so that's the station here. Let me do that. Let me show you how I do it. Right. Uh, the next stage is. Uh, Capsule machine. That's the newest. Uh, that's the newest machine in this in this place. We got it for two years now, I think. Yeah. Uh, and what it does is just applies the the capsule on the top of the corks to to seal the holes. Let's see how how it works. This job, we used to have two people doing this job. Yeah, yeah, but they are they, they're still employed. They're still yes, employed. they are still employed. They are just delegated to different areas of the of the distillery. Yeah. So the last 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 thing we need on our bones is the labels. We are we are filling Lucky Bay just now, so we fill Lucky Bay labels. Uh, the back labels uh, we've got uh, NFC tags on them and QR codes, so you can just simply uh, take your phone. Tap it with your phone, and then that will take you to the to the uh, portal portal to get some more information about Market Bay or Sana. Uh, right. So this is a fully automatic machine as well, and we've got it for about five years now, I think. Yeah. It's a, it's doing pretty well. steps at, right at the end of the line we've got two people working here one on, one on this side of the table one on the other side the person on the other side uh, quickly needs to uh, check if there's everything okay with the model check the capsule check the labels if they are nicely aligned and check if there's any visible particles uh, in the bottle as well and then the uh, bottle goes into the into the carton carton is being closed and then the person on this side of the table will just uh, put six bottles in the, into the outer case and then outer cases will go on the part. That's it. Easy. Huh? Yes. Yeah. So you have how many? Four people in here normally? Uh, normally four, yeah. yeah. Uh, Plus me. Yeah. At the moment, me and my dad are at this end of the line because <laughs> yeah. we're the only two uh, living together and then we managed to just about limp through with um, with spreading out the other two along the line uh, but uh, hopefully you'll have your team of professionals back so, yeah, yeah i'm looking forward to that yeah but in terms so in terms of uh, bottling at the moment what what orders have we uh, we were bottling actually everything today so market by one single cask actually that's that's uh, uh, going to japan tomorrow yeah. And those are individually numbered, yeah? Uh, that one wasn't, but in, in general, in, yeah, they are, mo actually most of them are individually numbered. Yeah, yeah. And so that's a slightly different process. Are you able to put them through the line, or is it? Well, only front label will go on the bottle, and then yeah. uh, we need to put them on the on a pallet and, and trays, and then that will be labeled later on. Because if you want to number them, we need to know the outer of the bottle first. Yeah. Um, well, I think everyone would be very appreciative of your of your hard work and yeah, uh, 
Mikael will also be available for um, some questions after this, if you have any questions about bottling. No, he can't siphon off any whiskey for you, um, but if you have any questions at all, uh, he will be live. So switch over to the live feed and, and he'll be there to answer any questions. Yep.